<laughs> I've been hoarding a lot of boxes. I've been hoarding a lot of boxes. So we're gonna unbox them all today in one video. Ideally, it's not gonna be massive, but whatever happens, happens. I have seven boxes to open up with you. Special edition books and all that good stuff because they are all the Owl Crate and Fairly boxes that I have been hoarding for like months. There are quite a few boxes that also have already been opened up and if you haven't seen those it's because they're on my TikTok and I tried to post them on Instagram too. So I mean check those out if you want to see like the full like actual amount of boxes that I've been hoarding. Hoard hoarding? Cute. Uh, that I've been accumulating but in the meantime the ones that we're gonna be opening today are the Owl Crate and Fairy Lutes for April, June, and July and the September Owl Crate. I think I unboxed the August one already as well as the August Fairy Loot in another video so those are, are good and good and unboxed. Go find it. It's it's like my book shopping video, pretty sure. In the meantime, these are all the ones that we're going to open up today. I've just been having a lot of book mail and I haven't been getting around to it and I want to start fresh. That way we can like have a clean bill to start in the future. So let's just go and let's just do it. By the way, I am a rep for both Fairy Loot and Owlcrate. You can always find all of that information down in my description. If you're curious about it, if you want to get the discount, if you haven't subscribed to these boxes before, I do highly recommend them even though I haven't been opening them. My lack of opening them is not from my lack of enjoying them. It's my lack of getting my life together skills, I guess. I, I don't know. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna do the thing. Where did I just put my box cut? Also, I want this to be very casual. So if it feels more casual, it's because I just want to open this up with friends. I'm already stressed out as it is, you know? So I actually went ahead and labeled these a few months back when I started getting overwhelmed. So in no particular order, I guess I should have maybe started with the newest one, but I'm starting with the oldest one. We're going to do the April ones first, I guess. And the theme for this one was peek behind the curtain, like the curtain of my life of me being absolute chaos. Oh, sh shut up. That's actually very exciting. I love Bones Coffee. I actually got introduced to Bones Coffee because of Alcray, and then I bought like a whole bunch of them on my own because I was so obsessed with the coffee and they have really delectable flavors and like they have really cool merch on their site as well and cool mugs. Highly recommend. I mean, that's not what this is about, but I'm really excited to have a new one. And this one, it's like Phantom of the Opera. It's a medium roast. It's Angel of Music, Chocolate Eclair. Side note, I was actually absolutely obsessed with Phantom of the Opera when I was a child. Like my mom and I would watch that movie all the time. I never did see the play though. So I guess I'm a fake fan. It's, it's true. What is this? So it's the Conquering Circus Presents, where the stage tells a story and legends are born spectacular. Glorian. And it's like a cup holder? Give me a minute. <laughs> no. Oh, it's a silicone popcorn holder. That's clever. That's clever. We love items that make single use items null and void, you know? I mean, I do. We do. You should. I don't know. You don't have, I shouldn't tell you how to live your life. Ooh, so this is like a box. <laughs> it says, for finding dreams that don't exist yet. I love a good wax stamping kit. I really do. I, I just like wanna be at a stage in my life one day where I just write letters and like seal them with my cute little wax seal. I just think that that would be really good for me. It looks like it's a little fox too with an apple that has a key and a moon. I don't know if it'll be able to focus on that. You'll have to take my word for it. And there's two really cute little pink wax strips or wax sticks. Isn't that what I said? Oh, I said strips. I said strips. Oh, it's a Once Upon a Broken Heart inspired wax seal kit. Love that. And then, ooh, the literary luggage. Let's go for it. I've really been liking what they've been doing with their pins. <sighs> Le Cirque de Rêves. I kind of assumed there had to be something Midnight Circus inspired or the Night Circus. Why did I call it Midnight Circus? I don't know. But anyways, Night Circus inspired, which is one of my favorite books. It's very good. It's very delectable. It's very magical. And I love this pin. It's just, it's just a cute little luggage. So I can take it with me wherever I go. I'm like, look at me with my cute little dream circus pin, you know? <laughs> oh, there's the label for that silicone. Oh, and it tells you how to use it. Fantastic. I'm not the best without directions. So it says the circus arrives without warning. Oh, another... Cirque de Rev's Night Circus inspired item. Wait, is this a clock? This is so cool. I don't have any clocks in my house. None. 
I now have one. Oh, I love it too. It's so simple and like, it just fits. Oh, this is, this is perfect. I don't even know if I want to put it in my book room. I like want it somewhere that anyone can see it and be like, Brittany, that is so cool. And I'd be like, thank you. I know. Ooh, a mouse pad. Outside things may be tragic, but in here we feel it's magic. Cute. It's like a windmill. I don't know what's, what it's inspired by though. Ooh, Moulin Rouge. Nice. That's pretty cool. No wonder there's a red windmill. I get it now. And the book of the box. Well, with all of its little goodies. So we have the letter from the author, and then we have the book, which is Hotel Magnifique by Emily J. Taylor. This is really pretty. Oh, look at those end papers. You know what it's giving? Haunted Mansion. And I love Haunted Mansion. Maybe it's just like, I think it's the, I don't know. It, it reminds me of Haunted Mansion. It says, all her life, Johnny has dreamed of elsewhere. I don't think I'm gonna be doing full summaries because there are seven boxes to get through. So I will link the book as well down below. Not not the copies that I'll create and Fairy Loot sell. Unless they're still on the site, then I will link those ones. But if any of these tickle your fancy or you wanna know more about them, definitely look down below, follow the links. If you don't buy anything through it, I don't get any kickback in general. So you can still read the description if that's something that bugs you. I totally understand. Ooh, look at the book without the dust jacket. It's like a glossy one. And it says greetings traveler and farewell traveler, which is actually giving me even more Haunted Mansion vibes because of the whole like foolish mortals, like farewell foolish mortals kind of thing. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know. And it's signed by the author as well. Love that. And the reverse of the dust jacket actually has art. That's really pretty. What's on his finger? Like, do you see that thing? Like, what, what's on it? Did he get, like, his finger amputated and that's, like, a magical finger that lets him use his finger as a wand? I think I should come up with my own summaries for these books, but I won't butcher them that way. They deserve more respect. This was a fun box. I'm not gonna read the whole pamphlet. As usual, though, the pamphlet does have a lot of fun stuff in it. it we also have the card for the theme for the next month, but we're gonna be opening that, so that was great. My favorite item was the wall clock. Undoubtedly, like, that was... Awesome. Or the coffee. Oh, I actually did forget about the coffee. The item that I will end up probably using the most, coffee. The thing that I think is the coolest, the wall clock. But next up, let's do April's fairy loot, which is right here. This was when they were still doing their boxes as like solid black. They've changed it since then, actually. Look at it. Spoiler card is bittersweet. Interesting theme. We have a moth pin, a Strange the Dreamer moth pin. I just like love everything that has to do with Strange the Dreamer. That was just... It was such a well thought out aesthetic choice on Lainey Taylor's part. Good job, you know? I like this. It, it doesn't look like the, the classic like cover. It has its own twist to it, which I actually really enjoy because I mean, I actually already have a pin that looks like the classic cover. So otherwise I'd have two. I like that this one has its own twist. <laughs> Aw, little tray. Oh my gosh. And it's the Night Circus inspired. And there are really never endings, happy or otherwise. Oh, do you think this is gonna be the same book? It could be. This is adorable because I can use it with my popcorn holder. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have a whole circus themed like movie night after this is done. Oh, we have, an, we have a book, uh, likely an arc because normally when they include another book, it's an arc and it's An Arrow to the Moon by Emily X. R. Pan. I love Emily X. R. Pan. She wrote The Astonishing Color of After and that book is phenomenal if you haven't already read it. It's a luminous love story that cuts bone deep. Oh, it's a reinterpretation of Romeo and Juliet filled with romance, magic, and Chinese mythology. This sounds really cool, actually. I'm intrigued. Aw, fairy lights. I feel like I have a ton of these like itty bitty fairy lights that I just don't know. I don't know what to do with. Oh, these aren't that itty bitty actually. I thought that they were gonna be like mini sized. This is this is pretty cute actually. Um, I still don't know what I'll do with them because I feel like it would be good for Christmas. I used to really like to use itty bitty fairy lights in like my bookstagram pictures, but then I, I don't know. I feel like my bookstagram has turned way more into just like an Instagram and now I don't really take bookstagram pictures. Tell me if you love or hate that. Like if you follow me on Instagram, does that does that bug you? I'm sorry. I actually stopped using my like personal Instagram and now I just use my book Instagram because I'm not very good at keeping up in general. And it's easier to keep it all in one place. What do you think this is? <laughs> I mean, okay, it's like a tote. It's like a bin that you open up. I'm assuming that you can just use this for anything. Like you can put anything in here. You can put it on top of a desk and have it be a catch all little bin. It says, what is a person if not the marks they leave behind? V.E. Schwab. 
I don't know. It's Constellation Canvas Blanket. Basket, <laughs> not blanket. It's perfect for storing books and items. I was right. I like this actually, this is a cool idea. I'm the kind of person that will fill any container I'm given to. So that's not maybe the best for me because I'm trying to be more minimalistic with my approach to life. Um, but if I fill it up, I fill it up, you know? Let's see, oh, and then we have the tarot cards. Cool, we have the Emperor and the High Priestess. Oh, from uh, Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. That book looked really good. I haven't gotten to it, but it looked really good. Uh, I like this. They started like a new collection with like this backing. I don't know what happened to the old one. I don't think it was a full set. I need to go back through it and see. It might have been. But anyways, the book. <gasps> Sprayed edges. We love it. Wait, let's grab the little pamphlet that has like the original cover and all that good stuff. Character print with a letter from the author. Z bookmark. I'm using that bin to collect all of my little items from this month. I'm trying to keep it all in order because I've actually been enjoying opening these up on BookTok and Instagram. So I'm trying to put them, leave them all in their boxes in case I do refill this for that. Ooh. Oh, that's really cool. This cover is stunning. I love the way that the blue like blends in with the blue of the, the face. It's Blood Scion by Deborah Filet. This is what they deserve. They wanted me to be a monster. I will be the worst monster they ever created. I'm so glad that authors now are creating villain stories or not maybe so much villain stories, but allowing their characters to be monstrous, to be anti-heroes, to be even villains. I love it. I've just been begging for it. Granted, the hero story, I get why it exists. It's super fun. I love it a lot. I want monsters. I want girls who are sick and tired of everyone and they're just ready to be monstrous, you know? Look at these end papers. I love that the signature's on that end paper too. That's really cool. It says, I'm a descendant of Shango, the god of heat and fire. I am a living inferno. I'm a dead girl walking. This sounds really cool. It's the same. Oh, that's sick. That's, that's really cool. Look at the art. Wait, this is really pretty. It gives me lo-fi vibes. I mean, I know this is, she's supposed to be monstrous and all that, but I'm having aesthetic, chill lo-fi vibes, right? It also kind of reminds me of, you know, like the pictures of uh, the Grand Canyon or uh, Zion where it, it has like all that really cool rock. It reminds me of that. Favorite item in this one actually was the arc. I actually should check to see if it's an arc. Otherwise I'm kind of being silly, just assuming things. Oh yeah, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's an arc. It's just a fairy loot edition, which that's really cool too. We're gonna go for July next. Oh, the fairy loot, okay, we'll do that. And see, cardboard box. That was the last black box for fairy loot, I think. Let's see. All right, so, oh, that's cool. They're like in a hedge and there's magic happening. This is, um, it's giving Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, but if it was Avatar, I don't know. It's called Trials and Retribution, the card, by the way, or the box. Ooh, what is this? These things tend to be really cool. That's so cool. <laughs> Wait, do you see that like, it looks like you should be able to use them as knuckles. And it has a teardrop, a square, a diamond, and like a little black circle. It looks like it has the a darker shade of magic style of like mapping on the blade. You probably can't see that. I'm so sorry. It's, oh, it's a Lila letter opener. I really like these letter openers. I really, really do. Just makes me feel like a badass. I use like a mini sword just to open up letters. And then you open them up and it's bills. Anyways. Oh, cool. New straws. And they have like this Greek or just like art deco design on them. And there's a straw cleaner, which is always great. Oh yeah, it's a Greek pattern. Look at me, no one patterns, <laughs> assuming correctly. Oh, ankle socks. I love a good pair of socks. This is probably one of my most used items whenever I get them inside of boxes because I love novelty socks. It has a skull on it. Oh, I bet this is Gideon the Ninth inspired. I bet. Yep, Gideon sucks. I never did continue on with that series. Like I read the first book, I thought it was cool, but I just like had no inclination to continue for the for the people that did. Is it good? How's it going? Do you like it? Nice. Ooh, a pin banner. And it's like a black one with a sword. I'm really enjoying this theme. It's, oh, it's inspired by Dance of Thieves. Okay, yeah, that checks out the, the sword. <laughs> oh, a binder. You know what's hilarious is that I used to always have to find binders and things to put all of my like spoiler cards and all my 
things like if you guys watch some of my videos you know that like that was a whole process for me and now they're just out here giving us binders for this kind of stuff I'm not complaining because this one's actually really cool. I've been wanting to get one like this specifically, like that looks like a classic book that I could throw into my shelves and actually have like all my art prints. Oh, this is awesome. And it says a little adventure. This is actually very high quality. But Fairy Loot, let me know, like, did you get that idea from me? Did you watch my videos and you're like, people are out here just like needing room for their art prints and they just find ugly binders. We could make a better one. Did you get that idea from me? I don't want any money for it. I'm just saying like, was everyone out here doing that? Do I just feel special for no reason? <laughs> yep, this perfectly fits your art prints and monthly theme cards. It's great for keeping your collection together. Come on, let me know. Did I give you that idea or was everyone out here doing it and I'm just feeling special for no reason whatsoever? Tarot cards, we have the Hermit and we have Strength. Oh, Blood Scion characters. The book we just opened. Okay, so the character print and the letter from the author. By the way, we're getting, we're, we're at the book. I feel like that should have been obvious, but I never said it, so it's possible that it wasn't obvious. Ooh, the bookmark actually looks sick. It's not gonna, it's focused on my face. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm already seeing really pretty sprayed edges. They're stenciled. <gasps> the top, that's what I was looking at. These are so cool. <laughs> this looks sick. I am 5,000% judging a book on its cover in this moment. You can judge me on my cover as well. Since I do it to other things, I'd be a hypocrite otherwise, but this book looks like I'm gonna like it. <laughs> it says a fierce revolutionary, a desperate prince. Together they will face the storm or be swept away. Like side note, but I was thinking about that the other day. I've been doing a reread of Six of Crows and like granted that story, phenomenal, chef's kiss. But also the way that that book is just aesthetic as hell, like the, the papers that they have inside to start new parts and even like the chapter headers and the fact that every single book is sold with those black sprayed edges and then the red end papers, like it's so aesthetic that it adds to the story, you know? I think it's a disservice when um, companies like don't make books as aesthetic as maybe they deserve to be. I mean, granted, it should be it should be based off of the writing. That book would have been just as good if it was on loose leaf paper. But also, aesthetics, man, I don't know. Wait, shut up, look at this. This is uh, definitely giving me Shadow and Bone vibes. I, it could be because I just read, you know, Six of Crows. But there's also animals. I'm like, I'm intrigued. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read it, I, I can't. This is so freaking pretty. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the aesthetic choices that were made for this book. I wish that could be my job. I wish I could just be the aesthetics person, you know? Like when making books, I'm like, yeah, can we make the end papers sparkle? I don't know. I wouldn't, that sounds lame. Now no one's gonna ever hire me to do that job. <laughs> Is that the author's signature? Cause that's pretty freaking sick. That's just like, it's just a symbol. I love it. That's so smart. This author just really thought everything through. Oh, which I don't think I said. So it's The Darkening by Sunya Mara. And that's clever, you know? Just make a symbol for your autograph if you ever become a famous author. That way when you have to do it, you kind of like don't hate everything. Like Sarah J Maas, like she started with like her full signature and then just eventually like turned it into like this weird SJ thing scribble. This box was actually phenomenal. I definitely think my favorite part was this, but that book is something else. Like they've, they've really raised my standards for what I now want in books. This is a good box though, actually, because the, the letter opener too, mm, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. By the way, we're on the July owl crate. Ooh, cool. Looks like Maleficent horns. It's called Courtly Intrigue for July. And this thing just popped out at me. Oh, cool. It's a water bottle. Visit the blood forest, the kingdom of solace. Hiking, camping, bloodletting. Cute. I like this kind of sippy straw. I love sippy straws. I spill water on myself otherwise. I don't know, guys. I know that at once upon a time, I must have known how to drink water without a sippy straw. And then my hydro flask spoiled me. We have a fine body mist by Fiction Bath Co. And it's Queen of Innis and it's sugared oranges. That sounds delectable. And guess what? My scent is at least like 70% back, so. That's actually really nice. That's, that's nice. This smells so good. Ooh, I'm into that. I mean, sugared oranges, that just sounded pleasant, but for whatever reason, I'm thinking of like blood oranges. I don't know. Literary luggage. Can you imagine that once upon a time people like didn't really have like body sprays to make them smell nice? 
People are probably out there smelling not great for a really long time. Ooh, it's a Davabad pin and it says Tor Davabad and it has just like the sunset. It's not gonna focus and it has the temple and the and the moon. It looks really pretty. It's it is really pretty. It's not it doesn't just look really pretty, it is really pretty. Ooh, what are these? Do you think it's coasters? No, no, Brittany, there's that's that's not what it Ooh. Is it? I thought it was gonna be something that you could like hold things in, but actually I don't mind it being a mirror. Is that what I look like right now? Where do you think legends begin if not from truth? I always love that like idea within stories that legends and myths just like stem from some seedling of truth. I mean, isn't that how like real history is as well? Yes, it is. You don't have to tell me. It, that's how real history is as well. How Scalathinius goblet charms? I wanted to put these in my hair. You know, like hair charms that people do? This is cute. I mean, do I love the color palette? No. I mean, it's just not my color palette. Like, I don't like teals with pinks. I like it actually how it looks in the in the card, but like the style of teal and pink that they chose, not really my thing, but I respect it because I love Throne of Glass. I mean, we have the Eye of Elena. We have a little one that says Fireheart. We have the King of the North, the, the Stag of the North, and then we have a crown with a sword through it. This is cool. <laughs> so do you think like you can put it around like wine glasses, like the stem of a wine glass? That's probably how I'd use it, I guess. Oh, a little teapot thing. Once upon a time, I didn't know what these were for, and now I do. Look at that. It's a, oh, it's a bookish bowl cozy. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could use it for a teapot too. But this is clever because I like to eat all of my food in a couch. And when you heat up a bowl in a microwave and then you try and touch it with your fingers, sometimes it might slip through the fingers and sometimes they might break on the floor. I'm not saying that that's happened to me a lot of times, but I am saying that we're missing a lot more bowls than what we started with. You know, this is, oh, the Iron Face series by Julie Kagawa. And Zenzi Book. Can you guys like do that thing with your eyes that when you're like opening something but you don't really want to know what it is, you can just like unfocus them or like focus on whatever the task is so that you don't actually end up reading what it whatever is right in front of you. Because I think I do that a lot. Because for example, I have no idea what this is, but I was staring right at it for like at least a minute there. Ooh. So anyways, letter from the author. And it's Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. And it says, kings and curses, girls and gods. These are the makings of tales. I really like this color palette. This is singing to me. This is pretty. And then we have the signature. Those end papers, they made them sparkly. That's beautiful. <laughs> he is more beast than prince. I am more monster than girl. Guys, I love a monstrous girl. I'm loving it. There are no love stories found upon the throne. That's kind of depressing, but also pretty true. Look at this reverse of the dust jacket. Oh, it's like Cinderella, but masquerade ball. This is cool. Oh, I got it. This is really pretty too. I love those end papers. I love this cover. There's always a price for defying destiny. The boy must die before summer's end or you will burn. That's pretty. I mean, pretty sad, but like that's it's still a really pretty book. Uh, should we save like the newest? No, we'll do the newest one right now. I don't have the fairy loot one for this. I actually recently changed the style of rep that I'm gonna be for fairy loot. Like I'm only gonna be doing the adult boxes for the next few months. In the meantime, I didn't get like the last three or so fairy loot boxes, I think it is. So it's not that I don't want to open it for you. I just, I just didn't get it. So Owl Crate, September. This is really cool. Look at that, look at that. It's Memento Mori. We've got a tote. Ooh, like a, like a drawstring bag. My mom loves these things. I should give her some of mine. It says Cresswell and Wadsworth, Investigative Servi Services, Belgrave Square, Estate 1888. That's cute, I like that. Everything casts a shadow, even the world we live in. Light your way through the dark quarters of crumbling manor houses or overgrown gothic gardens with this lantern inspired by Gallant. 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 That's so cute. It's like a mirrored little lantern. It has almost like a, it has a door. It has one that says, these dreams will be the death of me with the skeleton hands around it. I'm just telling you, cause you probably can't, the mirror is probably really distracting right now. It has like a, the view of the house with a well in front of it. And then it says, some people are repelled by darkness. Others are drawn to it. This is really cute. I enjoy that. Do you think this is another one of those jewelry box things? I opened this up on one of my TikToks. Like Fairyloot had given a really nice one. 
You know, that can't possibly be my hair because I just opened it, but it looks like my hair. So I'm gonna ignore that. It has little compartments for like your rings or actually this is for more for your rings, but like separate your necklaces. It has little hooks for bracelets and a little pouch. This is cute. And it says stories are the wildest things of all. A monster calls. I like this. Feels pretty sturdy. I like that it has a zipper. Honestly, this is just really good for travel. I kind of was one of those people that just threw all of my jewelry and then would just cry having to separate all the necklaces. And I'm actually really good at that, thank goodness. But yeah, it sucked. This is much better. Oh, and we have a mini candle from Flick the Wick and it's one flesh, one end. I don't really want to smell flesh. I think that my nose isn't strong enough yet to pick up on these scents, but it's sea salt, musk, amber, cardamom, and citrus. I can, I can kind of smell the citrus, maybe the sea salt. Like I said, it's 70% back. Yes, I know it's been almost two years since I got COVID. I mean, it feels that way at least. It's been like a year and a half. I don't know, I don't know. I'm one of those lucky ones. Ooh, a little purse thingy. It says Memento Mori on it. So cute. I normally don't carry purses. I, I like backpacks though. Works just as well with backpacks. And let's see what the literary luggage pin is. Sarah Moon Festival. And it's inspired by an ember in the ashes. I don't know. That's not gonna focus on it. You have to take my word for it. It's very cute. It's It has lanterns and there's a cart in the distance with like food on it. And there's like little carnival looking tents. It's super cute, very vibey, much good. You're welcome. Very good descriptions. Me? Yes. <laughs> oh, you you were looking for a person that's really great at describing everything because they're too lazy to let their camera focus on things. That's me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome to the video. Letter from the author. And then we have the book, which is The Deaths by Nicole L'Esperance. Deep down underneath it all, the island's heart beats. Dude, alcohol has been going off with the end papers. Like, who is on end paper duty? Not me, but... Like, cool, that must be a fun job. End paper person. Eulalie Island, it should be a paradise, but to Addie Spencer, it's more like a prison. Ugh, cool. I do like it when the books have something fun like this going on underneath them. Oh, but I love this reverse of the dust jacket. I like the art style a lot for it. Oof, I just noticed they're like alone in this like spring. And she's like, and he's like, <laughs> the lantern's really cool in this one, really cool. Actually, I mean, everything in this was like high quality. I think I'm getting to that point, you know, where everything's just like running together. And see, that's why I was trying to do this quickly so that I didn't get to that point. I didn't like lose my momentum. And this is so much fun, you know? But I think there's only so much commentary I have inside of me. I think that's the issue. So we're doing June. Fairy loot. This card is so cute. I would love to be in a library with books floating all around me and enjoying the heck out of it with my hair flying around. And it's the chosen ones. Yeah, because really only the chosen ones get to be in a library like that. Bummer. Ooh, we have, I think this is the Atlas Six. Yep, an Atlas Six book sleeve. And it says, knowledge is carnage. You can't have it without sacrifice. This is nice. I love Fairy Loot's book sleeves. They're just very high quality. Ugh, I love a good trinket dish too. And this one's inspired by Rin. So the Poppy War. This is so cool. She has like a phoenix behind her. She's shooting an arrow. This is really neat. I love trinket dishes, but I think it's just because I'm a bit of a hoarder in that sense, you know? Like I love cute little like knickknacks like that. Oh, ooh. This is a really pretty book. Like this is what I saw and I was like, that's stunning. And then stenciled edges. So it's called Twin Crowns by Katherine Weber. And it says one throne, two princesses. And in the back says two sisters, one crown. In the battle for the crown of Yana, where will your allegiances lie? This is neat. She thick too. Like this is like a small and a thick little paperback. Interesting. So they've just been like including like double books, which is, ooh, paper tabs. They're called Sting paper tabs. So like The Hobbit. Oh, and it's the, it's the dagger in like different stages of lighting up. That's actually so cute. We have like an art print. And it's a very stunning art print. Like, who is she? Look at her. She's like, she's foin. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Adelina from The Young Elites. I never did read The Young Elites. And I know Adelina was out here looking that good. I would have read it. Anyways, uh, we have also the tarot cards. We've got The Lovers. Oh, that's Poppy. 
Poppy and Hawk, for sure, and Chariot, which must be Kieran. Yep, from, from La Danache. Look at me, finally recognizing things. And then we've got the book. Obviously we have the pamphlet and we've got the letter from the author. I'm, I'm getting it. Oh, ooh, look at that character print. I, I would like to be under a shimmery sheet just like this. It would make me feel kind of like a ghost, but like a hot ghost. Could you imagine having that like over your wedding dress? Like just like an entire, <laughs> I kind of like it. I don't know. And then we have the fairy scoop and we've got the bookmark of the girl just living her best life inside of a library. And there's some vibrant yellow. I'm, I don't know if I like highlighter yellow. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm just like not a yellow person, but we'll see. Ooh, look at the stencils. It's lemons. I don't know if you can tell if my camera's picking it up. It's actually kind of hard to see, but they're lemons on a tree. Okay, I kind of like the yellow now. So it's This Vicious Grace by Emily Theod, and it says her gift can save or it can kill. I mean, can't really like any gift do that. It says three weddings, three funerals, one more chance to save them all. Look at this end paper. I love that with like the contrast to the vibrant sprayed edges, the dark, dark end papers. <gasps> and there's lemon trees around them. Mm, let's see, let's see. <gasps> ooh, ooh. Did I say this vicious grace? Yeah, I did. This is really pretty. I actually think I might like it better without the dust jacket. That probably is my aversion to yellow. I'm just like, I'm just not the biggest yellow person, but I get it. Lemons. We got a little signature. I just really want to know like, oh, so apparently her gift is supposed to magnify a partner's magic, not kill every suitor she she touches. Oh, Rogue. It's giving Rogue. I love Rogue. High key, my favorite X-Men. Not movie Rogue, comic book Rogue. Movie Rogue sucked. <laughs> comic book Rogue, baddie. Like she was a baddie. And this box was actually really good too. Mm, I don't even know what my favorite thing in here was. Probably the paperback, which is weird. I mean, I'm not normally, not normally. We're on the last box though. So thanks for sticking through this entire shebang with me. I'm sorry about me. I just, I really like all of this. I just think I sound kind of dumb sometimes when I'm opening these up. It's just like, I love surprises so much and I love getting gifts, but my reaction to everything is normally the same. I'm like, ooh, I like this. Cause I don't know. Look how pretty this card is as well. It's of romance and rivalry. <gasps> this is a good box to end it on, I think. Let's start with the literary luggage because you already know I'm really good at descriptions and I'm not gonna wait for this to zoom in on it. So, ooh, it's inspired by Serpent and Dove. Oh, this is gonna be so easy for me to describe. Okay, okay. So it says, Pans Patissier. No, Pans, <laughs> I'm already messing up. Pans Patisserie. And it says, Bon voyage, belle terre. And then it's like, it's just a storefront, like a, a baking storefront. See, see, I've got a gift. I've got a knack for it. You don't got to tell me twice. Oh, this says, the stars incline us. They do not bind us. Oh, I love good wooden comb. It just has like little roses on it. Ow. Oh, actually, I think, oh no, I, I think I liked what my hair looked like when it was messy and, and tangly. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm not gonna, I'm not combing the other side. We're gonna leave it. I do really like wooden combs though, actually. And for some reason, I've been like misplacing all of my hairbrush and, hairbrushes and combs. So this is good. A magnet. So it says, the bright star holds even as the darkness rises. Oh, by the way, the comb, the comb is these violent delights. Oh, this is dark rise. My fridge actually isn't magnetic in the front. Can you believe that? I couldn't. I like hanging things up. I'm kind of bummed, but it's fine. We have a tote. It says per, I can speak Latin. Uh, per amorem omnia fieri passe. Crescent City University. Oh, shut up. That's so cool. See, I told you guys, I can be like looking straight at something and just not absorb it. <laughs> Everyone that doesn't know me in this video is thinking that I'm very dumb and you might be totally correct. I am so sorry. I don't even know why I'm looking at the spoiler card. I know exactly what this is. This is Crescent City. I love Crescent City. I like the idea that I can pretend that I was in a university at Crescent City. Ooh, we have another classic and it's Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. They've been giving us like these like owl crate paperback classics and I like it a lot actually. I love that they're just like black and white for the most part with like a hint of color on the spine. It just looks really good on shelves. You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. Me to my cats, honestly. I'm like, you gotta let me do this. Oh, did I accidentally untie something? I totally did. Is it like you hang it? That's actually pretty cute. 
It's a print, but a wood print, and it says a good book was its own brand of magic. Stories made everything possible. It has a snake and a book and roses. This is actually pretty neat. I recently, and unfortunately, and I'm surprised this didn't happen to me before, but I have a wood mark that I got from like the most recent Owl Crate, and I was using it in my Six of Crows book when I was rereading, and I don't know, I just like, I went, like bent over to like grab something from the floor, and I guess it was in the tangle of blankets, and I bent it. It didn't break, but it bent, and it made like a cracking noise, and now I'm a little bit traumatized with that style of wood, because I'm very bummed about it. I straightened it out, but it's not the same. We've got the, the book. Oh, this time I read it. I actually did read it when I was looking down. The letter from the author. And we've got the book, which is Together We Burn by Isabel Ibanez. And she's in like one of those really cool dancing skirts. And they both are wearing like the dancing clothes and he has a he has a shield. This is actually looks really cool. He kisses me like he's teaching me a lesson. If I draw near a flame, I will burn. The end papers are like dragon scales. An ancient city plagued by dragons. A flamenco dancer who must become a dragon hunter to save her family legacy? I love that. I really do. And we have the signature right there. And, oh, ooh. This is really pretty. We catch on fire under a million stars. Together we burn. And it has like the, the fan, the flamenco fan. <gasps> Look at that art. Oh, this is so cool. I love that! And actually, I think I like the book more naked. Like, don't get me wrong, that cover's really pretty, but this... I don't know, this is all really cool. It's all very cool, if you did not catch my drift. Wait, was that all of them? Now I'm kind of bummed. Now I wish I'd spent longer on it. That's it! Those were all of them! Welcome to my video of me hoarding books and boxes and opening them all in one go with idled commentary that was extremely airheaded and... Ideally pretty funny. I like to think I'm pretty funny, but I don't think that's a good marker of whether you're funny or not Because if you think you're very funny, but then no one else thinks you're very funny I mean like at least you're making yourself laugh, but when I'm making a video, there's more than just me You know sometimes I look at people and I'm like it makes sense why others script like their videos because otherwise I have no idea what's coming out of my mouth I can barely remember anything that I said. I remember everything I opened up Good on that but I barely remember anything I said. I hope this was fun. I'm glad to start fresh. I have already unboxed like the newest Owl Crate box that I've gotten in a weekly vlog. I think that's how I'm gonna be doing it from now on. I just really enjoy the process of doing it within a vlog. And then I'm gonna be starting to get the adult fairy loot boxes. So this was actually the end of my YA fairy loot journey, at least for the foreseeable future. I'm really glad that we open them all up on camera. I'm sorry that I haven't been doing these videos. I know a lot of you actually do like them, even though I feel like they're not that much fun to watch. Like, I think it's just maybe me. I think I hate hearing myself talk <laughs> about like things that I enjoy. Ideally, you enjoyed this video. Ideally, it's not a million hours long. And thanks for opening these up with me. Let me know, do you like getting these kinds of boxes? Like, is this something that you enjoy as well? Like, do you love having like bookish merch all the time? I think that I personally do, but I am excited about the fact that like the adult fairy loot boxes are really just the book. Like it feels, it feels like a good change. It's a good complaint to have, but I have so much like bookish stuff now that I don't have enough places to put it. Yeah. But also, shout out to Fairy Loot and Owl Crate for sticking with me, even though I was absolutely trash at opening things up. This year has been a wreck and we are moving on. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Well, I mean... I probably will, let's be honest. But thanks for watching. I am not gonna clean this up. I'm gonna leave this mess right here as it is. So <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Me and you had fun together. Thanks, Festy, for sitting with me through this. I hope that you were able to open up your own mail that maybe you have been hoarding and not wanting to open as well. Or maybe you were cleaning. I love watching watching. I love putting YouTube videos on in the background while I do tasks around the house. And I hope that that is sometimes what my videos are for other people. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, you're, you're quite full. I haven't really been doing that anyways, right? This is a mess. I lined up all the boxes and I have a little army now. <laughs> look, 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 look. Look at that. Look at the little army of boxes. <laughs> It's the small things in life, you know? Okay, bye.